Hi, welcome back to Vintage Old Tools. Today, we're gonna to look at a Stanley Bailey number no. five jack plane, type 16, most likely manufactured between the years of 1931 and 1942. This is a Stanley number no. 5 jack plane, type 16, and we'll look at some of the features on the plane that indicates that it is a type 16. First thing we want to look at is, are there any patent dates behind the frog in the casting back in this area? And on this particular plane, there are no dates, which is one of the features indicative of a type 16 plane. Another feature we want to look at is at the front of the plane, under the front knob, there is a heavy ring cast into the base that the ring seats into when it's bolted onto the body. That's another feature also of a Type 16 plane and other types, but specifically a Type 16. The base of the plane, uh, as you see, is a black japanning. Some is worn off, but for the most part, uh, it's fairly good condition. It's not painted blue, which would be indicative of the Type 20 plane. So Type 16 planes all had the black japanning. Now this particular plane also has a feature found in Type 17 planes during the war year, and that's this heavy ribbing at the front and here at the back of the plane. The sides of the plane are pretty much the standard thickness that most types are. It was during the war year Type 17 that you saw both the ribbing, the heavy ribbing at the front and the back, but also the sides of the planes were much thicker. On this one, they are not. The lateral adjustment lever on this particular plane on the Type 16 has the word Stanley and it's written horizontally not vertically which is another indicator of a Type 16 plane. Now this plane also has a couple other features that would indicate that it's a Type 16. One is that the knurled knob for the depth adjustment here is brass and the knurls go straight across. They're not diagonal. Diagonal would indicate a different type because these are straight across. This indicates uh, one of the indicators for a type 16 plane. The other changes that you would find in a type 16 plane, this plane does not have features that were tied to the war years. Uh, it has the brass knob the bolts that hold both the front knob and the handle or the tote in our brass during the war years brass was hard to come by and used in the war effort and therefore those bolts were usually steel or in the case of the knurled knob it was a black plastic or rubber knob uh, to save brass the knobs themselves on the type 16 are rosewood or a hardwood they're not painted it's a natural finish probably with a shellac finish over the rosewood. The lever cap on the Type 16 has the kidney shape and this particular one if I flip it over it has the patent date on it which was the original patent date for the kidney shape lever. Previous planes, previous types of planes had the straight opening not the kidney shape. So this is for the Type 16 and newer planes. Uh, you see the lever cap's in pretty good shape. This particular one has the orange paint behind the word Stanley. Not necessarily just a feature on the Type 16s, but this particular plane also has the notched Stanley logo on the plane iron. This particular plane iron is in pretty good condition. The cap screws to, to secure the plane iron to the chip breaker here on the front. The frog is adjustable. It does have the micro adjustable knob down here or screw down here to move the frog forward and backward to do some adjustments on where the plane iron is positioned in the mouth of the plane. Overall, this plane is in very good condition. The knobs and the tote look excellent. The sides of the plane are good and smooth. There's a little pitting on these particular pieces on this side and again on this side, but there are no major defects, there are no chips or cracks, and there are no holes that user had, has, have drilled into the plane. It's a pretty solid 
body. The bottom of the plane, the mouth is clean. Again, there are some uh, scratches and pitting, and that's one of the things when you go to look at a plane and to restore it, it make a decision whether or not you want to just clean an existing plane really well and keep the patina and the natural aging to the plane, or you want to completely strip it down to completely restore it. In this particular case, we chose not to do a complete restoration, but to clean it as best we could to keep the patina of the plane and the basic features um, for this particular plane. Uh, another feature, as you notice, on the front of the casting, the word Bailey, and made in the USA on this particular type shows up behind the front knob. And then on the back of the casting, the number five uh, in a raised lettering, raised numbers to indicate the number five jack plane. Overall, it's in uh, pretty good condition. Uh, it's been cleaned um, of the dirt and the grime and brought back to a nice usable life. So once again, this is a Stanley number five jack plane in the type 16 era, probably manufactured between the year 1933 and 1941. And again, we've gone over some of the features for this and we'll look at some other planes down the road. Appreciate you watching our video this afternoon, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a number of other videos on various types of Stanley planes, as well as a lot of other vintage old tools. Thanks for watching.